In response to the news that his baby mother Daphne Joy is mentioned in a lawsuit Diddy is facing, 50 Cent has responded. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Earlier this year, producer Lil Rod filed a lawsuit against the founder of Bad Boy Records, claiming that he had harassed her sexually. The Harlem-born mogul has vehemently refuted this. In an amended lawsuit, Lil Rod now asserts that Diddy boasted of paying other women to have sex with him. The lawsuit states, according to Plaintiff Jones, defendant Sean Combs bragged about having several women on a monthly stipend. Kersha Ronka Brownlee, Aka Young Miami, Jade Ramey, Aka Jade, and Daphne Joy Cervantes Narvies, Aka, Daphne Joy who were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' sex workers. Ramey was seen in 2022 getting close to the rapper and billionaire Diddy, while Young Miami of City Girls was rumored to have been in a romance with the rapper that terminated last year. It was also previously rumored that Joy and Diddy were dating. 50 Cent has voiced his opinions on social media, but neither Diddy nor any of the ladies mentioned in the lawsuit have addressed the allegations made. 50 continued his trolling campaign against Diddy by posting two pictures of him smoking cigars along with the caption, I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. LOL, yo this shit is a movie. Despite the most recent development in the Diddy allegations a federal raid on his houses in Miami, California, and New York as part of an investigation into sex trafficking 50 Cent is far from done taunting. In addition, they have been at odds for a considerable amount of time. However earlier it was more of a friendly competition between two hip-hop moguls. With the public's attention focused more than ever on these unverified rumors about Sean Combs, the G-Unit rapper is more than willing to regularly prank, and trot him, whether in a serious or nonsensical manner. One of his recent Instagram posts, for instance, also brings up one of his previous feuds with the elite rap scene in the Big Apple. Anybody seen Jay? LOL Puff said the ain't answering his phone. LOL, 50 Cent captioned a picture of a Jay-Z missing ad on a carton of milk. Naturally, this is by no means the only joke he's made regarding Diddy's accusations. In fact, his jokes got much funnier after hearing about this raid. While some admirers never fail to laugh at Fifth's pranks on Instagram, others are more circumspect while participating in these conversations on a far more serious subject. Though we doubt he will be the one, perhaps other well-known figures in the industry will offer a more grave analysis of this in the future. Moreover, this also has a connection to 50 Cent's well-documented falling out with Jay-Z, which isn't exactly a very heated hip-hop feud either. These moguls interact with each other in a way that is fiercely competitive, something that the former has always defended against Hav and Puff. In the big picture, the Queen's native is also far more combative and doesn't hesitate to incite controversy online in an attempt to irritate others. To be honest, the Rock Nation CEO is silent about almost anything these days, so this does serve as a reminder that he is still mute regarding the Diddy problem. According to reports, federal law enforcement officers searched Diddy's residences in Miami and Los Angeles on Monday as part of an investigation into the multiple charges of sex trafficking he has faced recently. Southern District of New York is the case's primary location, according to a police source cited by TMZ. Social media users are sharing aerial video of the incident that Fox 11 captured. Justin and King Combs, Diddy's sons, appear to be handcuffed in the video. It's unknown if Diddy was present on the property. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HS HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Two more women filed identical claims after Cassie's lawsuit, all of which he has since refuted. Another lady has now come forward, claiming that she was gang-raped and sex-trafficked when she was 17 years old by the billionaire and others. The unidentified woman asserts that she encountered Diddy in a New York City studio during her high school years, and claims that he gave her drugs and drink and invited her to sit on his lap. She claims that after that, Diddy, Harv Pierre, and another unidentified man all sexually abused her. Pictures from her meeting with Diddy seem to show her in the studio, with what appears to be her lap. Following news of the suit, Diddy has taken to Twitter to once again deny any wrongdoing. Enough is enough, his message begins in all caps. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family and for the truth. The letter is in line with past comments Diddy's team has made in response to the several cases. His purported victims were accused by a representative earlier of exploiting the Adult Survivors Act and characterizing their lawsuits 
as a money grab. With the bad boy mogul and his business empire coming under increasing legal scrutiny, 50 Cent has alluded to creating a movie titled Surviving P. Diddy. Recent accusations against Diddy have sparked a pop culture firestorm, which some people are keen to investigate or take advantage of. Furthermore, 50 Cent, his competitor, made frequent comments regarding these advancements, implying that this is just the beginning of a lengthy series of reckonings. Indeed, it appears that he might have been correct, as the bad boy mogul is currently dealing with a number of fallout from these statements. In addition, these include sponsors pulling their support from him, charges against other label executives, and much more. Overall, the G-Unit leader considered all of this and concluded, wow, this could make for a great addition to my cinematic universe. I told you they was coming, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 SMH, 50 Cent wrote on Instagram on Wednesday, sharing various headlines of the fallout of Cassie's now settled lawsuit against Diddy. This is a movie surviving P. Diddy or Diddy. Do it or not executive produced by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson coming soon. We can't really tell if he's kidding or not, of course, considering his background in creating successful television programs and other forms of entertainment. Even still, there's a very good likelihood that he will try to have it approved, given the Queen's icon. 50 Cent made reference to a number of topics, including the Jane Doe lawsuit filed on Wednesday accusing former bad boy head Harve Pierre of sexual assault. She alleges in it that Pierre molested and abused her sexually. The lawsuit names Combs Enterprises, Bad Boy Entertainment, and Bad Boy Records as co-defendants, however Diddy is not included in it. On that note, keep checking back for the most recent Diddy news and updates. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.